Syria has set a date for its upcoming presidential election. Not that it matters. When Syrians head to the polls June 3rd, their options will be limited. That is, if they exist at all. Although President Bashar al-Assad hasn't said yet whether he'll run for another seven-year term, there's little doubt among observers that he will. After all, he does seem to have a knack for campaigning, winning a stunning 97 percent of the vote in 2000 and a whopping 98 percent in 2007. Then again, that's not much of a feat when you're the only one running. Bashar al-Assad, like his father before him, has always run unopposed. But this year, things, at least in theory, could be different. In March, Syria's parliament unanimously adopted a law allowing for multiple candidates on the ballot, which sounds like a great step toward free and fair elections, except when you consider that virtually any challenger from Syria's opposition would be barred from running. Under the law, candidates must be born to Syrian parents, have only Syrian nationality, and here's the rub, they are required to have lived in Syria for the past 10 years. Most of the leaders of Syria's main opposition group are currently based outside of the country. Oh, and lest we forget, anyone who wants to challenge Assad needs the backing of at least 35 members from Assad's own party. And consider, as the Christian Science Monitor notes, Syrians that live in opposition-held parts of the country won't be able to vote. Same goes for the nearly three million people who have fled the country. Opposition groups have called the upcoming election a parody of democracy and have hinted it could undermine efforts to negotiate a peace settlement. But Damascus doesn't seem to mind. Foreign policy's David Kenner writes this election couldn't come at a better time for Assad. Supporters see the election as a way to underscore that the political structures dominated by Assad are still in place and have survived the three-year insurgency. Meanwhile, journalists on Twitter had fun with the very notion of an election organized by the Assad regime featuring a serious challenger whose last name wasn't Assad. Of course, it's no laughing matter for the millions of Syrians whose lives have been ripped apart by the now three-year-long war, which began, by the way, as peaceful protest against Assad's rule. Uh, despite the war zone in his own backyard, Assad was recently able to fit a campaign-like event into his schedule, stopping by the Christian town of Malula for photo ops on Easter. For Newsy, I'm Elizabeth Hagedorn, multiple sources of broader view.